Okay, uh, because we have a full presentation today, I'm going to get started. Uh, welcome everyone to the 18th MedResults Network Educational Webinar. I'm Jamie Parrott, President of MedResults Network, and as always, I just want to thank everyone for taking time out of your afternoon to attend this presentation. Today actually marks one of the last MedResults Network Educational Webinars that we're holding uh, until the beginning of 2016. However, I am excited to announce that we've already begun planning our 2016 webinar lineup, uh, and we have some really great trainings and unique educational opportunities planned. And in addition to that, uh, we're really excited right now. We expect to launch about four new vendor partnerships and new benefits to our network by January. So keep your eyes open for special announcements as we move into the new year. Today we have a really unique presentation planned, which will include two guest speakers. Um, a couple of months ago, you may remember that we held a webinar presentation which, with Althera, uh, and that actually showcased the importance of taking before and after photos in your practice. That webinar actually demonstrated how to improve your photography skills, which will eventually lead to more patient conversions. And when approached directly by our partners at Turbo Medical Marketing, uh, who told us a little bit about a new technology they had developed, um, which showcases all of your amazing before and after photos, we decided to continue with the photography topic since our first photography webinar was so well received. Um, today you're going to hear from Tom Sullivan. He's a partner and vice president of Turbo Medical Marketing. He's going to be demonstrating a number of ways you can enhance your presence online and capture new patients using your online photo gallery. He's also going to show you Turbo's newest plug-in technology, which provides a turnkey way for you to organize your cases and optimize your website. And uh, I also want to introduce you to Matthew Arndt. He's the founder of Turbo Med Medical Marketing. Uh, he's on the call with us today as well. Although Turbo's new gallery plugin has already been proven by a few of our other members, we decided to do something we haven't done before in the past, which is invite a member to test their technology and then speak about it on a live presentation. So about three weeks ago, you guys may have seen the emails, but we asked members to enter a contest to actually win the opportunity to test the Turbo technology, and, and I'm excited to announce that the member who was selected is actually going to be here to speak about his experience today. Uh, Dr. Lawrence Osman will be joining us toward the end of the presentation, so please stay tuned. Uh, Dr. Osman is a board-certified dermatologist and a liposuction specialist based out of Northridge, California, and he's been a member in the network since September 2010, so we're grateful to have Dr. Osman's participation today. Uh, before I introduce Tom, I want to share two final reminders. At the end of the presentation, please don't tune out of the webinar. Turbo has graciously included a, a very special offer for our members, and it's available only to MedResults members through the end of the month, through November 30th. So they've, uh, they've offered this you know, special package, which we'll talk a little bit about later today, um, and they've enhanced this offer to provide a speckle, special package for the first five members who respond. So stay tuned to learn a little bit more about that. And finally, after the end of the presentation, a brief survey is going to pop up with a few questions, as per usual. Uh, if you have questions for Turbo or you're interested in learning more about the technology that we share today, please email me or use the survey to let us know that you're interested in receiving more information. And uh, with that said, I'd like to introduce our very special guest, Tom Sullivan of Turbo Medical Marketing, who brings us how to attract more patients with your before and after photos. Thank you, Jamie. I uh, appreciate you and the Med Results Network giving us the opportunity to make this presentation, and thank you all for attending. Uh, without further ado, we'll jump into various tactics that I think everyone here can uh, take away some different things that will help improve your practice and make you more money. So here's a few things that we're going to go over today. Keep in mind, I only have about 30 minutes to teach you this, so we're going to go through a lot, but it's going to be comprehensive uh, to show you how to create a gallery that attracts new patients, why some of the current and most of the current solutions don't work, and the reasons why and what you can do to overcome that, and how there's new technology that uh, is out there that you can double page views, drive more traffic, uh, without any technical knowledge, Photoshop knowledge, any kind of uh, coding experience. If you stick around at the end, obviously we'll have some kind of a special bonus and we'll certainly be able to answer any questions that you have. A little bit about myself, I'm the Vice President and Partner at Turbo Medical Marketing. We're a full service digital marketing agency 
that specializes in the medical and aesthetic niche. So dermatologists, plastic surgeons, medical spas, uh, aesthetic medicine in general. I currently live in Charleston, South Carolina with my wife and dog. We're uh, running basically the, our East Coast operations with my partner, Matthew Arndt, uh, the president and founder of Turbo, uh, located on the West Coast in Orange County. And a fun fact, I'm a former collegiate rugby player. I no longer subject myself to the weekly beating on the field. I don't want to look like I was uh, in a fight club when I come into the office. So I stick to the uh, softer sports like softball and golf these days. But I do bring that same competitive spirit and drive uh, with helping all of my clients and, and to grow the, their businesses. And that's the point of this webinar. And an additional point here is that uh, my, Matthew and myself collaborated on a book, and I've, as you can see, his name's there on the bottom, Building Your Aesthetic Practice Through Social Media. We've sold thousands of books, and you can find this on Amazon. If you'd like a free copy, uh, we, I think we have a deal now where you just pay for shipping. We'll send one out to you, uh, and just contact us after the webinar. All right. I personally believe that generating new patients should be as easy as possible. It should be easier than it currently is now online. And that's one of my core beliefs. And in addition to that, people commonly hear the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words. But it's really worth millions to your practice when you think about it. And I'll go into a little bit of what I mean by that momentarily. What we utilize in our uh, agency, and what I think any practice should utilize when you're doing digital marketing, is analytics. Arguably the best platform to do that is Google Analytics. It shows you where your traffic is coming from and where they're going on your site, how long they're staying, what the bounce rates are. So what we've noticed when we're looking at our clients is that the photo gallery portion of the site constitutes about 34 percent of all page views. And this is kind of an average that we've seen uh, throughout for most of our clients. It's the uh, often the most viewed page on your site. And just so you know, for what I've seen is the photo gallery is number one, and then the About Us page is number two. So when you're talking about calls to action and, and how spending time to make those pages look the best, those are your number one and two. Uh, but photo gallery by far gets the most traffic. So obviously you want to put in the time to make sure that you have the functionality when you get this traffic to your site to get them to convert. So this is incredibly important since patients make decisions on their uh, practitioner based on your, uh, your photo gallery cases. They want to see examples and social proof. So what's the biggest challenge when it comes to your photo gallery? Well, what we've seen is it's very difficult to, to handle on your own. My developer is slow to respond, or they're expensive to make every little update. I mean, your goal as a practice is to continually grow your cases, but oftentimes you, f uh, you find frustrations with you know, your developer's response time, how much you have to pay them, um, and then the fact that it's just very difficult to do it on your own. Having a bad gallery, or worse, not actually having a gallery at all, can cost you opportunities to generate new consultations, which in turn lead to new patients. So in this particular instance, the, you can't, the before and afters are all scattered amongst each other. There's no way to really move from case to case. There's no subtitle or anything showing that uh, you know, what this procedure is, other than in some of them there's a watermark that's clearly a stock photo. Well, we definitely encourage you to take your own photos, as you've learned with previous webinars. And there's lots of um, advice online for best practices in shooting your, uh, or taking your own photos. But um, keep in mind that, that another point negative with this is if you have a light box, as opposed to an actual page, it's one less thing that can get indexed. And we'll get into why content is so important. But uh, if you have a light box, you're taking, your, you're, get, you're taking away an opportunity to have a new page that you can rank for for a given keyword for each of your procedures. So um, this is something that you want to avoid. 
So let's get into the seven steps, the specific steps for creating uh, a better gallery. And it starts with four principles, organize, protect, optimize, and then profit. Step one, organize. This is your gallery's taxonomy. This means differ differentiating your different levels of your hierarchies. For example, your main categories may be body, breast, face, and then oftentimes skin is one uh, that you note for like non-surgical. Or those can be something that a dermatologist uses as well. Some practices heavily focus on liposuction, so that could be your main level. And then your individual procedures would then be your subcategories. Uh, there's no set way to do it, but uh, it, it all starts with the right organization. And once you have that in place, for example, the breast category in place, well your procedures, the subcategories, breast augmentation, breast lift, breast reduction for example, you then add the cases to each individual subcategory and that's, if you have that in place then you're, uh, then you're on the right track. So the organization is key, there's nothing more frustrating than going to a site that you click on the photo gallery and you see every single case without any easy way to jump to a specific procedure. People are know what they want for the most part or know the problem they have and they're looking for the solution and want to see examples of your social proof. So with that, your next step is how you organize your case. So it, it helps if you can make your cases sortable by, by variables that matter. You want p potential patients to see results from cases that are as similar to yours as possible. Uh, and a good example is the, of this is if you have a breast augmentation uh, gallery, um, you may have a, a prospect, a p potential patient who comes to your site who's uh, in their mid to late 40s and has had several pregnancies. Well, having uh, a bunch of photos of women in their early 20s, no pregnancies, isn't that relevant. While even though it's the same procedure, it really helps to be able to organize a, uh, a gallery where people can easily find what they're looking for. And the easiest way to do this is with a filtering system based on the tags that you want to apply to each procedure. And we'll get in, into filtering in a little bit, but the, that's the second step. Once you have the hierarchy in place, how you organize your cases is, is extremely valuable. With that, protecting. Obviously, uh, we're in a world where HIPAA compliance is extremely important. So uh, being able to add a, uh, you know, not only to protect patient information, uh, but also watermark your images to protect your brand from theft. Um, again, we encourage you to build your own cases, but with that, you leave yourself vulnerable to taking your photos. Having an easy way to watermark all of your image uh, seamlessly is very valuable. And again, uh, protect is your last step. I alluded to it a little earlier. Um, you know, obviously you need patient consent before you're posting any photo, so that's key. Uh, and with that, you may have some patient in information that inadvertently got saved to an image file or uh, anything like that. Well, you want a system that will auto-generate URLs that, that, that take out patient information. So it's all clean. There's nothing that you have to worry about where there's any kind of identity showing with your gallery. That's a crucial step when you're, uh, when you're uploading photos. Step five, optimize. You want to make sure that your site and your gallery are optimized. One thing that we often preach is that Content is king, and with that, we always emphasize blogging because it grows the content on your site. Well, the same is true for the gallery. If you're growing the number of cases, if your gallery is structured in a way where each individual case is creating a new page, well, that page is an opportunity to rank for a various keyword, whatever keyword uh, the procedure that was performed there. So. The more visibility that you have and the ability to optimize, well, that will drive more traffic to your site and ultimately help you generate more leads. So uh, the search engine uh, indexing of your gallery is crucial. 
light boxes don't cut it these days, so having the ability to create individual pages matters. You definitely want to make sure it's optimized for mobile as well. Uh, I think there's, it's important to, to point out there's a distinction between what Google may deem as mobile friendly. Uh, I'm sure almost everyone on here heard of the mobile get in and probably if they have any kind of web developer, they at some point uh, pointed this out, um, whether it was recently in uh, April when the update happened or in years past. But the difference between mobile friendly in Google's eyes and, and truly mobile optimized. And you could see that on um, how your cases are, are reflected. Are they side by side? Do they stack up on top of each other? Um, just the ease in which you can move around and navigate. It's important that you not only have that with your desktop, but on your, on your tablet or your smartphone as well. And then obviously, you want the analytics to back that up. And in, in this example here, we, we see a site where 60% uh, of the traffic is uh, coming from either a mobile device or tablet. I mean, this is common uh, for almost all of my clients. Well over 50% of the traffic is coming from mobile. So it, it behooves you to not only be able to pass Google's uh, mobile-friendly test, but make sure your site is mobile-optimized with calls to action and then most importantly, your gallery is displaying in a way that's easy to navigate and displays photos correctly. So think about all the potential consultations you might lose if your site is not because people are impatient these days. They want to find what they want quickly and, and efficiently online. Otherwise, they'll bounce. Again, I, I brought this up uh, briefly before, but um, Content is king, so continually adding cases to your gallery is the key. Uh, it continually grows social proof, and it continually gives you opportunities to rank for additional keywords, both crucial strategies for improving your overall digital marketing approach and, and driving more patients. So adding additional cases each month is absolutely necessary to keeping search engines interested in your site. Just like blogging, I'm not going to say one is better than the other. They're both very valuable. Adding content, quality, unique content is crucial. So how can you create and optimize and organize profitable gallery for your practice? How can you uh, build something that is seamless and easy to update and with everything that's out there? Well. The key is take control of your own gallery, making sure that you're using a software that you own that's easy to update, uh, intuitive taxonomy con uh, controls, how you can easily and set up and organize your, your gallery so that, that you can then add cases. Case filtering, we brought this up before, the ability to add individual attributes so you can sort each of your patients. Your mobile responsive design and layout, obviously you want to make sure, again, that it's displaying well on all sites. Built-in SEO, uh, you know, getting each individual page optimized with your title tags, your meta descriptions, um, the ability to insert geographical keywords as well is very valuable as everyone has a practice that's located uh, brick and mortar somewhere, so that's valuable as well. Protecting your images with watermarks, HIPAA compliance, all very important things. And then lastly, WordPress. Uh, this particular gallery uh, uh, software that we're going to go through is built specifically for WordPress as a plugin. So keep that in mind um, as we go through this. Uh, we, we built this uh, software in mind for WordPress because we use it for our clients and it's one of the best platforms out there for web development. So we, we definitely uh, recognize WordPress and want to point out that this is a, a, a good platform if you're looking for to switch to uh, from any other platform, uh, we always recommend WordPress. All right, so now a quick seven minute demo, maybe a little bit quicker than that, but let's go into the nitty gritty of this particular software. So we're looking at one of our clients, uh, Soco Plastic Surgery. 
you can see this is, if you've seen WordPress before, this is your basic back end. Uh, right here you've got the Turbo Gallery. So one of the first things that, you, that I mentioned that you want to start on is your taxonomies. So we'll start there. And this is where you set up your categories and your subcategories, or more specifically your categories and your procedures. As noted before, body, breast, face are often the your core categories, and then you have your individual subcategories or procedures below that. Simply adding your name, creating your search engine friendly URL, and applying the parent category is all you need to do. And then a featured image helps as well. So we can jump to the front end to see how this is laid out. This is essentially what you're seeing there with uh, the taxonomies, is your categories and your subcategories or procedures with individual photos. Usually we'll do stock photos, but you have the options to upload any of the, your desired photos for your featured category images. And then once you, you set up your taxonomies, obviously the next step is your individual cases. So we just click under taxonomies onto manage cases and here we can go to click on our body gallery and then notice let me take a step back here. We've got our breadcrumbs here um, and I can click that to go back. But one thing I wanted to point out is, okay, we can see how many cases we have, which is nice, but even better, arguably, is that we have the ability to grab the short code. So what this will allow me to do is on the arm lift or brachioplasty page on the site, I can go and grab the short code and then embed it at the bottom or wherever I want so that I have my main photo gallery page, but I also have my individual procedure page where I can grab the short code just go to the page and go into the HTML and just plop that code in and you're good to go. Um, going back to the individual case, so uh, you know, you've got your different cases here. Again, I can grab a short code for any of these cases that I want. Click that red button to add a new case. Name my new case, apply my procedure or subcategory. And then we have some default filters, and I'll jump into the filters in a second, um, but I want to point out the option here where you have complete control over the title tag and meta description. Uh, a, an important feature and something that we recommend using if you uh, use our tool. It gives you the full freedom to create completely optimized cases. And as you can see, if we go to the brachioplasty page here, click on any of the cases. We can create complete, um, what I'm looking at is the title tag up there. We have complete control over these attributes here. So let me jump back out, um, go over the next thing here is the filters. So what you see here on the right are filters that we already set up. Um, the name, and then we can create any kind of filter, add our values, which are what appears in the drop-down menu for um, this particular filter, and then apply it. Um, implant size for a breast dog isn't relevant for um, not every category, so we, it's, it's nice to be able to assign, a filters, assign filters based on the category. So you can see that we have uh, that a couple of these set up for breast augmentation. So we can jump over to this particular example so you can see the filters on the front end here. So age and gender are kind of our default filters, um, but the ability to then implant brand, um, size, you can filter down by starting cup size, finishing, you have complete control over these attributes, and you can decide, all right, if they have pre previous pregnancy, uh, 
again, there's no limit on the filters that you can run. So we encourage you, uh, if you utilize this, is to uh, think about each of your cases and come up with detailed descriptions that you can add and how you can organize the individual attributes of all your photos. So um, this is where you set up each of your filters and then you can apply them at the case level under Manage Cases. Uh, the last thing we can go under settings, there are uh, global settings that even if you don't individually optimize, they'll still apply them to your photos, which is nice. I still recommend you utilize the individual optimization. But one of these cool features is that we, uh, we can add this little location tag, and this will automatically apply it to each of the individual cases. So we're getting optimization for this new case that we add. Let's say it's breast augmentation. And then you have the location here, Irvine and Orange County. Well, this shows up in the search engine, so we're more likely to rank for breast augmentation Irvine, things of that nature. And then obviously, um, the another cool thing we brought up before is the watermark. So, uh, you know, there's certain size dimensions that you want, but we'll, we can go into that. But the ability to add a watermark obviously protects your images. So uh, at the end, we'll, we'll go into an opportunity where we can walk you through getting set up with this. But this is kind of a rundown of how you of the back end and WordPress, how it's used, where you start with taxonomies, work your way to cases, set up your filters, and then look at the settings. But that's pretty much it. Um, that's a breakdown of uh, your uh, the photo gallery. So let's now jump back to. Uh, this is actually Kyle. Uh, Kyle's song is uh, the size we were just looking at, and um, you know you just saw the demo from him. He's very happy that uh, we just updated. He, we kind of beta tested with him, but um, he it's been crucial for him for booking surgery. So uh, one of the easiest, best, and most cost-effective solutions available. Highly recommended. You could see some stats here. Uh, from Kyle's site, South Coast Plastic Surgery. And as you can see with the addition of the gallery, we timed it um, based on pre and post gallery that we added. He saw an increase of over 700% in unique page views. Um, and these created additional consultations and led to more business, which is the end goal with any kind of gallery and showing social proof. Here's another example of a plastic, uh, cosmetic surgeon who's uh, in Connecticut, who's using the gallery, and he said that tur the Turbo Photo Gallery is like nothing I've seen before. The simple process for adding new cases is saving me time and money. And that's our goal here. It, ease of use and obviously effectiveness for driving patients to your site. And I think we have Dr. Osman on, who Jamie had alluded to earlier, who we helped set up his photo gallery recently. Yep, Doc, Dr. Uh, Austin. I, I am here, if you can, can hear me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will say that uh, I've been listening in, and uh, I have recently uh, got my gallery set up, and, and I can uh, attest to the fact that this is a fantastic plug-in. It, I've uh, struggled with trying to find a great way to organize my photo gallery. Um, I am somewhat familiar with WordPress. I'm definitely not a techie. I'm not real adept at it. Uh, but if you have enough familiarity to post a blog, then this this gallery this uh, plugin is fantastic. It's really simple to use, and it is a really comprehensive way to keep things organized, presented in a really nice, aesthetically pleasing um, way, and uh, and and it and allows you to really position it so it can get picked up by search engines um, by including all those details like creating titles to your galleries, creating titles to your photos, um, and also it just makes it so, much, so easy to upload your photos since they've built in the ability to wipe out patient information. You don't really have to do that in terms of how you label the photo gallery itself. Um, so uh, it's, it's easy for me to, to keep my photos organized because uh, I'll just take a photo, I can keep the patient's name on there and upload it without having to worry about the, the patient's name um, showing up, you know, when someone looks at the picture or look, looks at the site itself. 
So I've been really happy with it. It's been, it's been a really great thing. Thank you, Dr. Osmond. I appreciate You're that. You're welcome. So we're going to give everyone an opportunity with our early bird special to take advantage of this uh, lifetime license, uh, meaning that as long as you have uh, a WordPress website, uh, that you can take advantage of this offer. And, and as you know, our gallery is unlike any existing solution available. It's designed to meet the needs that other galleries can't match up to with all the individual features. The do-it-yourself image resizing, cropping, watermarking, advanced taxonomies, the case filtering, mobile responsiveness, built-in search engine optimization, the HIPAA compliance, uh, URL strings, photo names, just a few of the features that this uh, particular solution has. And for all our attendees here, uh, again, we're offering a lifetime license that's valued at uh, $19.99 uh, for 75% off, essentially, only $4.97. Uh, we know this plugin is worth much more, uh, and it'll easily generate ROI at 10 times that price. So on top of that, the first five who sign up, uh, we'll get, we'll provide you, and I'll jump to this in a second, a, a super bonus here for everyone, but um, you can check out this particular deal by going to turbomedapps.com forward slash MRN. Again, this is our, comes with a 30-day 30 30 day money back guarantee, and um, we'll, we'll show you the URL here as well, but if you want to write it down or go to it right now, turbomedapps.com forward slash MRN, promo code MRN75. Uh, again, I'll get to that URL back in a second, but I wanted to bring out that we're, we're coming up with a bonus as well. I know uh, some people may need a little help with their setup and just getting going. There's always even just a little learning curve with any kind of new uh, technology, so that's where we come in. And we're offering this $1,000 value uh, on top of that included for everyone at this webinar. And that includes getting this installed on your WordPress website, uh, an analysis of your existing gallery needs, embedding and setting up the categories, filters, a live demonstration, and we'll do, we'll do an hour-long uh, kind of consulting setup during this period. And uh, again, full money-back guarantee in case of there's no compatibility, which we haven't seen yet. So uh, that's an additional bonus. Uh, that we're adding and this is only a deal that's going to last for the next uh, week and a half till the end of November and we decided to throw in I talked to Matt and we decided to throw an additional bonus for the first five people who sign up and in this case uh, uh, another $500 value will add your first 20 cases for you uh, up to 14 photos per case and even photos, that if they need censoring based on um, the uh, angle which they shot, face, breast, etc. And we set up filters and descriptions, full SEO on all of this for you as well. So this is a $500 value for additionally beyond what you saw for the first five. So to recap, everyone on here qualifies for the lifetime license, including the installation and the $1,000 value uh, expert installation and consultation uh, startup session. Uh, everyone qualifies for the 30-day money-back guarantee, and all of this for 75% off. The, as you can see in red, the first five will actually add up to 20 cases for free, an additional $500 value. So how are you guys going to utilize this? What, what, what were you going to take away? And will you try this sometime in the next week? We're here to help. This is an offer that, uh, again, we feel as uh, it's priced at 2,000 lifetime license, which is why we're offering this uh, through our partners, MedResult Network, for uh, only the next week and a half, valid through November 30th. Uh, as you can see, first five to sign up, you can save up to 75% in our uh, the, the website you want to visit is turbomedapps.com forward slash MRN. And you can see on that page your promo code to get you all the discounts is simply MRN75. That's MRN75.
Hey Tom, do you mind uh, pulling up uh, Dr. Osmond's um, his gallery before and showing everybody what what we were able to put together in the last two weeks? Absolutely, I'm glad you brought that up, Matt. Uh, so let me go over Dr. Osmond's previous gallery here. So this will give you a sense of um, what Dr. Osmond had before, and then what we uh, were able to help build. So um, this is not unlike most websites you go to. He's got his before and afters, and they're all just kind of laid out on one page. Yeah, there's some organization with subtitles, but this is what the gallery looked like before, and this is the gallery after. Obviously, uh, you've got the uh, categorization in place, better layout, and then you can see how we've got the individual cases laid out here. We can filter down by gender and age range. All that's fully enabled. Got his descriptions in, his individual cases, he's got his watermark. Again, compare that to what, what, what existed before. And not quite the same in terms of functionality and um, you know breadcrumbs here. This is basically, I know Matt helped put this, but this is uh, kind of night and day um, in what Dr. Osmond was referring to. So again, if you're ready to take advantage of the opportunity here that we have, uh, limited time, uh, we're here to help. And I'm here to help answer any questions uh, as well. We encourage you to visit turbomedapps.com forward slash MRN, uh, and then our promo code is MRN75. Uh, I don't know if, Jamie, we want to take some questions here. Uh, I'd be more than happy to, to do that if there's time. But uh, again, I encourage you to email me if there's any questions directly as well, tom at turbomedicalmarketing.com. Perfect. Tom, thank you so much for, for presenting. Um, I just want to express to everyone, if you do have questions, I had mentioned at the beginning of the webinar that a, a brief survey is going to pop up as soon as you exit out of the webinar. It's four simple questions. It takes less than 30 seconds to answer, and one of them uh, is whether or not you'd like information on the app or you want to speak with Tom or you have questions. Just tick that yes box. Um, Tom will have access to reach out to you to give you any information you need or to answer your questions. Um, again, I just want to thank Tom. Thank you for speaking. Uh, Tom and Matt, thank you so much for the special offer for our members. As, uh, as Tom mentioned, everyone, this offer is valid until November 30th. So it doesn't give you a lot of time to uh, take advantage of it, but I encourage you to take a look and, um, and add this plug into your site. It, it's really been a benefit to Dr. Osman uh, and other physicians that we work with. And Dr. Osman, a special thank you to you as well for participating. I'm delighted that, that you've added this plug into your site. Um, it, it's really been uh, insightful for us to see how it's worked and see what our members um, have access to through Turbo. Uh, with all that said, I am going to be sending out a follow-up email to everyone today. You should get that probably around 2 o'clock or if you're on the East Coast, 5 o'clock. Uh, that'll have some additional information, some links to, uh, to this offer as well. And as always, you can email me directly at jamie at medresultsnetwork.com. And on behalf of everyone here today, thank you so much, and have a great holiday next week. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.